All right, we're gonna do some setup on our Miller XMT304. Uh, so you can see where you're going and what to do here. Um, <clears throat> this one's set up with uh, at least one more process than the other machines in our, in our shop. So I'll show you that one as well. Um, but to get started, right now we're set up with our SMAW um, Stinger, the electrode holder set up, plugged in right here. Um, oh boy, there's wiggling here, sorry. So it's plugged in here to the positive side. That's where we're going to want that as we're, as we're running our um, SMAW processes. The ground in the negative side, that comes down here and is bolted right onto the side of the, actually this one's clamped, but it's bolted onto the, um, the booths uh, so that it's always grounded to the booth so you can weld um, anytime you've got that hooked up. Um, this power source then also needs to uh, make sure that the little turn knob here is pointed to the stick setting because that's what we're going to be doing. Um, and then you're ready to go. Turn it on and you can start welding SMAW. Um, make sure your amps are set to the proper range and you should be in good shape to go. Now switching it over to GMAW. All you've got to do in that case is switch your switch the knob. I'll bring you back up here again. Switch the knob over to MIG. Okay, that's where we want to be there. Knob points at MIG. Now only the volts are displayed. So make sure that's in the right range for what you're doing. And the uh, SMAW electrode holder is pulled out, hanging on the wall. And then <clears throat> the plug that comes up here follows around the back of the machine up to our wire feeder. That gets plugged in to the positive side just the way the other was. Now you're all set for GMAW as long as you got it in the right voltage range. Now these are also set up to run our uh, lift dark TIG. So I'm going to take the positive um, lead out uh, and we want our TIG process to be running on electrode negative. So we've got to take the ground out of the negative side and move it over to positive. So now we can plug our electrode over here on that side. The TIG electrode <coughs> has a couple of extra parts going on here. Uh, for one thing, it's got our little gas line coming in. So it'll run uh, our argon down to the torch. Okay, And this just plugs in right into the machine. Gas line's here. Got a gas valve right here on the on the torch so you can operate that. Uh, once you got those plugged in, you also need to make sure that you switch the the nozzle, or excuse me, the switch the selecting knob up here to lift arc TIG. That's what we're gonna run. Okay, and that'll work really well. Make sure you get the amperage range where you want it. And then you should be good to go. One other thing you should be checking for when you're doing the TIG is to make sure that the TIG gas line is turned on up here. Uh, when the valve is in line with the pipe, you know it's turned on. If it's across the pipe like that, that's turned off. So now it's on. We're ready to run Lift Art TIG with this machine. Those three processes we can run with this machine in our shop, I've got a handful of them um, that run it. So you should be good to set up for any process we're going to be doing in our classes. Good luck.